Oi, I'm gonna be Justin. We're working on the wheel horse and we're doing this beautiful carb swap. So y'all know, I love my wheel horse, but there's a problem. There's just not enough power and throttle control out of this thing. How do I fix that? By getting rid of all of this, the stock, stock carburetor has got to go. Unfortunately, this is a, a Tecumseh. Uh, there's some sentimental value behind this motor, so I'm not changing out the motor. But what I am going to do is swap on a Makuni style carb to see if it can wake up this old Tecumseh. Now, there isn't a performance kit for this motor, but by doing some measuring and everything, I think I was able to get something at work. So this is the intake, and I did one for the exhaust. So I will be doing intake and exhaust, but not in this video, just intake side. I've got this. Nibby in power carburetor. Oh, no, now that is that's fancy. Okay, so that's what we're going to. <laughs> that looks good. Let's see if we can make it work. You may ask yourself, How am I going to adapt them? Well, I've got this piece of billet right here. Um, it's actually for a Predator 420. And it's very close to fitting. Like, if you take the stock gasket and overlay them, pretty good. So, I drilled out the adapter so that it would fit. And with a couple of bolts from an adapter kit, I'll have this engine running just like a song. New holes, just slightly oversized. Got some quarter 20s in there. And it just fits on with this little boot and it just goes whoop right on there perfect look at that now we shall tighten those down mm, look at that carb stock wimpy yes yes it's gonna be great and we've got it all tightened down and plumbed up i'm gonna throw in a new throttle line throttle cable because we uh we need a new throttle cable for this application. And we'll see if we can fire it up. Such a nice slide. She's gonna she's gonna do that, you know. It's just better sounding effects, I guess. So it's not there's no fuel in it, and I've got to prime it. So uh let's see what happens. Maybe it doesn't like all that fuel pressure. So I'm going to slow down the fuel coming out of it. But I'm also going to put the air filter on there. Like, yeah. There we go. That flows is nice. Oh, Semi nice. I have to move probably this winch controller just a little bit. I like that. That gets the air filter way up high, up behind the headlight, so no chance of water ingestion there. Way up high. So I think it was shooting out gas because I gave it too much suction. I'm going to pull off this line and see what happens now. So I went ahead and I shortened this hose a little bit, so now it fits in there really good. The air filter is way up there, and yeah, she runs. 
I will I want to mention that this is a 28 millimeter carburetor I measured the inside of the the intake manifold and match the size so and I haven't jetted this yet this is just how it came so it's working right now which is cool but now I've got to figure out where to route this throttle cable um, the last one went up and around that way and kind of loop de dude on the other side this will probably do a similar motion um, I like this one because it has the eye on it and that's what the other one I had so I just cut them last time to work so it'll come around and be very similar I ran the throttle cable up from the carb around the gas tank into the frame it goes down and it goes back and kind of loops around right here it comes out right here and it'll go straight to the brake pedal the old one went through this little hole right here but now it's too far forward because last time i just cut the throttle cable whereas this time i need both ends so i'll have to weld a new mount right here and allow it to work and that way i'll have to be able to tune it and set where i want it and i'll still be able to retain my my throttle stop right there and lock up forward so i just gotta figure out where i want it exactly and then make a little tab and weld it on and call her good so with that piece cut out and notched it's going to make a little plate right here it's going to have a little u shape inside of it so this can slip into it and i can adjust it with these nuts and it'll just you know, position it forward or backwards to have the slack out let's go make a little plate so this is what i've come up with this little piece of flat stock goes right over here i'm just gonna weld her right to here that way it's nice and straight on the throttle cable and it'll work good so just do a tack and then i'll weld it Now to hold, it's hot. There it is, welded, secured, and I got just a tiny bit of slack in it. So, uh, we'll see. I'm gonna go fire it up and see what happens. I've also removed the governor arm and everything up here. So, uh, yeah, let's we'll, we'll see what happens. Just took the carb needle out and adjusted the clip to the richest position, which is all the way down. Let's see if that does anything. Choke. Mm -hmm. It's more idle. she's running good I'm gonna go take it for a test since we've got kind of a decent day so uh, let's see what it will do
I still can't do that slow. Well, the car is walking awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed. This thing's, this thing's a lot of fun. This is just second gear just coasting. Well, thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to be swapping out the exhaust to get this thing to flow better. Then we'll do some more tuning, and this thing should be ready for the mud hole at PJ's house. Hope to see you guys in a later episode. Take it easy, subscribe, you know what to do. See ya.